Okay, in this video, I'm gonna work out a couple of problems from the node. So we're talking about um, functions and change. And I'm working in section 1.1. And so question 14 in section 1.1 says, let W equal F of T represent the wheat production in Argentina in millions of metric tons where T is years since 2015. We wanna interpret what does the statement f of four equals 20 means? So over here, we have w is f of t. And we wanna represent what does f of four equals 20 mean? So just be aware that when we, um, we switch the order here, right? Um, when we wrote it this way, we had output on the left and we had input on the right. Um, here we've rearranged it so we have um, we can see first what the input variable is value is, and then we can see what the output is. So we could write these either way. So it's not just whatever comes first is output, whatever comes second is input, but it's whatever is inside of the parentheses is the input. And whatever is on the other side of the equation, that's gonna be the output value. And so over here, we can see that output is wheat production in Argentina. And we can see that the input is T, which is years since 2015. So if I wanna explain what this means, uh, an incomplete answer would be Okay, when the input is four, the output is 20. That doesn't really tell the, the reader of this or who you're telling this to anything, right? We would like to know, well, what is the input representing? What is the output representing? So we don't wanna stop here. We wanna replace input with years since 2015. So here we could say four years since 2015, Argentina's wheat production is 20 metric million metric tons. Okay, that's a that's a pretty good answer. But this first beginning seems a little weird, I think. In 4 years since 2015, we would typically call that 2019. So if you want to clean this up into a final form, what we could say is in 2019, which is the four years since 2015, Argentina's wheat production was 20 million metric tons. And here's an important caution when you're explaining what these things mean, be very, very sure that you include the units with the value. So I wouldn't be complete to say in 2019, Argentina's wheat production was 20 because we don't know what the units of that 20 are. Um, so really, really focus on explaining what these things mean in practic terms, practical terms and be sure that when appropriate, you've got, it's very really clear what the units of these values are. So this would be my work for this question. You don't need to show all of that, but in a final answer, you should be able to show how you wrote this out into a clear sentence. So that would be my solution for problem 14 if that were on homework. And I'm gonna do one more question on the next page.